Hi and welcome back to Quinn Pod Creations tutorial videos. Today's video is a portion of a live zoom session that I had with my beading circle. I do live sessions on Sunday afternoons and this is a demonstration of my hummingbird brick stitch earrings and using the Comanche stitch method and I hope that you enjoy this video. Thanks for coming. The materials for today's session was I use um, size 0 Nymo beading thread, size 12 beading needles, and size 11 Delica beads. Alright, let's get started. This is a POD stitch photograph, but we'll turn it sideways and it's brick stitch. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be using the Comanche stitch technique. I have two gold and a purple bead on. These two, the gold and purple, are going to have to sit side by side. And so I have my tail thread going the, to my left. I'm going to go through that first gold bead, which will bring the other gold and the purple bead together and will sit at the bottom to make your triangle. Comanche stitch starts, as it starts, it has two rows at once. So we'll be doing them two rows together. So I pick up another gold bead and I'm gonna go down through that purple bead and my gold bead will sit right next to the first gold bead we went through. So there's our two rows starting at once. So I'm going to pick up another bead, I believe that's a gold bead, <laughs> bring that up through, oh I guess it's purple. <laughs> now the top row is going to be several gold beads at once, so we're just going to keep following that pattern. and putting one bead on at a time. Bottom row, one up, top row going down. So that is our baseline for our Comanche stitch for the middle of the hummingbird. So it's two rows at once. We're starting in the middle. I'm going to do the top and then the bottom. So now I'm going to need to increase the next row for the back of his neck, back of his head. I'm going to go down through the, so I'll put that first gold bead there. And then, but I'm going to need another gold bead increase for the back of his head. So I'm going to weave myself back up. I'm going to go to the bead to the left and weave myself back up to the top through that green bead. That was the end of our first row. Because I need to be in that gold row. I mean in, in that gold bead. I'll go down through that gold bead. And now I'm going to need to add another gold bead on as an increase. So I have a gold bead on, I'm just going to go down through that gold bead and just set that new bead right next to it. And then I'm going to go back up through it. So it would, it's just like doing a ladder stitch. So now I have increased that row by one gold bead and that's going to be the back of his head as we start increasing all the way up. So now I have a gold and a green and I'm going to go back to the very same bead that I came out of and that creates the increase. And that gold bead is going to sit on the outside which will be the increase and that green bead will sit on top of the other bead. I'm going to 
come over and go through the next bead over and then go through that green bead so the Comanche stitch is just weaving coming down and weaving back up through the beads instead of using the thread bridges so let me get through that green bead so I moved over to the next gold and went up and so I'm coming out of the green bead I just added I add another bead now I'm going to go down through the same bead that green one's coming out of so I have another green bead on <clears throat> down through that same bead the green one's coming out of put it into place there I'm going to come move over to the next bead next to it which is a green bead and I'm going to come back up through both so I'm weaving my thread down like in a triangle and back up through the bead I just added so I'm doing that instead of using a thread bridges and then I'm just going to continue on with my pattern increasing all the way to the point before his eye and now this is going to start the next row to the back so I got two beads here and I'm going to start his beak and I'm going to go back up and now that was the I put those two beads on that's the base of his beak and the beak is going to be done see there's two beads that are going to be the base of the beak is done with four gold beads done in a ladder stitch so this is how I do my ladder stitch I'm going to put on those four beads let them straight up now I'm going to go I'm going to have them going up I'm gonna come from the bottom up I'm going in the second bead I'm going from the bottom up so that's the second bead I'm in going from the bottom up that lays those two beads right next to each other and then I'll go through the next bead from the bottom up and that will make that bead go sideways and lay right next to the two before this is how I do my ladder stitch and now that last bead I will go up through the bottom get this tangle out of here up through the bottom and that will turn that bead the same direction as the others and and that's my ladder stitch for the beak so that's four beads done in a ladder stitch back down and I'm back down to where I started and I'm going to go back down through that gold second gold bead on, on his mouth and then that and when I'm done I will nail polish put nail polish on that and that will keep it straight and it'll it'll stand out it'll work <laughs> it doesn't look like it now but it'll work um, so just kind of move them around there and get the tension right and now I'm just going to continue on with the pattern and go and work my way over I'm going to work my way all the way over to where the tail feathers start so I'm finished with the body so I'm going to work those tail feathers so I weave myself all the way over there and just continue with the pattern all the way up increasing and decreasing as necessary to create that pattern in there and another row 
I don't know. I don't remember if I showed how to start a new row or not. I probably didn't. I don't think I did. <laughs> so I'm going to add two beads. This is to start a row. I'm going to skip one bead and I'm going to go through the third bead. This starts a new row in the Comanche stitch. And I'm going to come back up through that middle bead. This is so you don't see the thread on the outside edge. It kind of hides your threads. So, I'm going to go, I go back through that row and then come up through that bead on the left. And I think I kind of missed that. And then continue on with that Comanche stitch. I really see, I don't use the thread bridges. I weave my beads up through in a triangle and go back up through the thread. Well, it's probably still confusing. Um, it's pretty, so, I am not an expert at writing patterns or giving directions, but I might be able to do that sometime, <laughs> someday when I find some time. Um, uh, now I'm back and I'm done with the feathers. Have them all done. And then now I just gonna you know, weave my way back down so I will be out coming out of weave myself I'm gonna um, actually I weave my tail back through and then I cut off and I start it again. So now I'm back on the other side of the bird, starting at the back of his head. Put on two beads in the same hole because we need an increase on his ta on his wings. His wings are going to be increasing all the way up. So two beads in the same bead, and then we'll just continue on. I'm gonna have a bead on to the same bead that that green one's coming out of. Set it right there. Go to the next bead and go back up through the green bead I just added. So my thread is kind of going in that triangle that we had in the beginning. So I put a bead on with the next bead and back up through the bead I just put on. That's a Comanche stitch. If you're a member of my beading circle, I have the instructions for Comanche stitch in my group files. Give you a really good reason to come and join us. <clears throat> in the group and also this pattern is in there I all my patterns for these live zoom sessions are provided free to the group so that's two beads I put on one over three up through the middle go back to the two and then up through the bead I need to come out of and that's how to start that row I know it's kind of confusing, but it hides that thread from showing on the ends. And then put on a bead. Yep, I have the right color. Put on a bead, go through the same bead that the other one's coming out of. Move over one, go up through the bead I just added. I like the Comanche stitch so much better. I really do. It makes my work look cleaner and I, I don't like the stress of thread bridges. It does make it a little more difficult to take out if you make a mistake, but the, I, <laughs> that's the price I'm willing to pay. So just continue on with that pattern to the top of the wing. And when we get to the top of the wing where there's going to be two gold ones left. We go back up through. And... <laughs> always I'll struggle there 
back up through that gold bead on the left and then I'm going to create my loop and six, six gold beads put my um, earring wire on make sure it's going in the right direction so that the birds hang opposite and go back down through that gold bead on the other side go back up through and go back through all the beads and just reinforce that loop kind of a struggle for me I usually cut this part out when I'm having too much of a hassle but um, there we go and I finally made it through and there it is and now I'm just gonna weave my thread back down so I can anchor it in there somewhere and get it through there and then I'll cut it off and then I will be done. So I'll just get some. Make sure I'm weaving it in enough times. Like to change directions. When I'm weaving the last of my um, thread. So I'm going to burn that off. Right up to the third. And there it is. There is my brick stitch hummingbird earrings. And then I will nail polish. I use my my photo to put nail polish on this because the the bird won't stick to the nail polish, the shiny side of my photo. And then the nail polish will dry, so it won't stick to it. So I'm gonna get that all straightened out the way I want it to be. And I use Sally Hansen's nail hardener, dries clear, and uh, I think it's a little better than nail polish. Uh, so I put on one side, flip it over, and make sure I'm getting it flat because that nail hardener hardener is already on there so it should start hardening it up right away stiffening it out and then I'm going to cover the opposite side with that and also make it nice and shiny and now I have that on the other side I'm just going to flatten that out should stay and there is my brick stitch hummingbird earrings so this was a real um, difficult pattern but very I enjoyed it and we had a wonderful baiting circle session together with it so um, if you're interested, come on and join my beading circle group where you will find the pattern and instructions. Or you can even come in and join us on Sunday afternoons. Even if we're doing a different project, I still will take your questions and give you some answers or some direction. Um, just be, Even if you're not doing our project, you can still come and join us. We have a pretty good evening. I mean, <laughs> time together. I have some very good group members that um, really do enjoy it and we spend a lot of good time together I do have an Etsy shop where I will sell kits if I have if I'm able to make a kit for the project we're doing I will make it available in my Etsy shop and I do also have other things that are in there that you can um, buy supplies um, I don't have finished product at this time because I don't have time but 
<laughs> sometime I will someday that's a someday thing and I do have a website which is not functioning right now because I just haven't had time but it will be coming back soon so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something please come by and join my um, feeding circle group we'd love to have you make sure you answer all the entry questions so that I can let you in so thanks for stopping by see you next time <laughs>